Royal order of adjectives, a rule and two exceptions. Well, a, one rule that we have when we use these adjectives is that um, they should be separated by a comma or and or but. They can be separated this way. And this happens when the two adjectives are from the same category. We separate them with a comma or we use and or but. This is how we can use it to do this. Now, let me give you an example. A healthy, strong baby. A strong, healthy baby. Well, they're both close to the same category. And what I mean by the same category, when I shared in the other video, this section here can be considered kind of the same category. Because it's talking about physical physical description. And so healthy and strong are physical descriptions. Now there's times where you might have observations, which are your values of your opinion, and you might have two in there. Well, you want to separate them with a comma, with an and, or with a but. So let me give you some more examples of this. We have, it's a red, yellow dress. Well, red and yellow are both colors, but I will tell you, usually you will see it this way with and, not with a comma. It's a red and yellow dress because they have together. Now, if there's going to be an emphasis on one color more than the other, you might see instead of and the word with. It's a red with yellow dress because it's talking about it's red and it's with some yellow in it. So it's more preferred to say and when you're talking about and using colors. Now, here's another example. He is a kind, helpful man. Well, these can be considered opinions because it's what I value in people. I like when people are kind and when they're helpful. And this man, he is kind and he is helpful. So I can say it together. He is a kind, helpful man. Now, we can use it with the word and. He is a kind and helpful man. He is a kind and helpful man. And even this way, it sounds even a little bit better because it says he has both those qualities and they're both equal in emphasis. And to me, it sounds a little bit better with this one. But there's times where, yes, we want to say it this way. All right. How about this one? I determine that the meaning slightly changes when we add the other parts. So he is a quiet, sweet man. He is a quiet and sweet man. He is a quiet but sweet man. The meaning changes just slightly, but yet the man is quiet and he's sweet. So you're giving this idea that he is quite he is a quiet, sweet man. You're just describing him in a nice way. He is a quiet and sweet man. That he has both these qualities and you're giving emphasis to both. And here might be more of the emphasis on the sweet. He is a quiet, sweet man, because that's the one that's closest. But when you have and, this is saying that they're both of equal value to the man. Now, he is a quiet but sweet man. Now, you might be thinking, well, some people are quiet and you don't know if they're sweet because they're so quiet. So this might be a surprise. He is a quiet but sweet man. And the emphasis is here. It is here, even though you're identifying the other one first. Now, let me be able to share the exceptions. There's two. It depends on your qualifier, which is your your adjective most closest to your noun preceding it. And then this little I-A-O. I'll share that in a moment. But let me, let me start with this qualifier first. Now, in looking at this, um, we need to pay attention to this qualifier, this one that modifies before the noun, because the whole point is, is it a qualifier or is it an observation, opinion, adjective put in that position? So here we go. Fresh squeezed orange juice. Well, I separated here so you can he hear it that without hearing the word juice, 
fresh squeezed orange you're going to expect it's going to be juice because orange juice are always together yes orange is a color and it describes the fruit but it's functioning as the qualifier to make this compound noun so it's fresh squeezed orange juice because if we went with the royal order this color needs to go before and it wouldn't sound right orange fresh squeezed juice native speakers will be going that doesn't sound right so because it's functioning in the, as a qualifier to make it a compound noun it works this way now here's an example of the order can be changed it's however you're going to emphasize the adjective the qualifier <coughs> excuse me before the noun a big ugly i'm sorry a big old ugly handbag the emphasis is that it's ugly it's old and it's big how about this one a big ugly old handbag well the first emphasis is that it's old it's ugly and it's big how about this one an ugly big old handbag the emphasis is that it's old it's big and it's ugly and how about this one an ugly old big handbag this handbag is big it's old and it's ugly so that's the example of they can be switched in order and putting the commas in there because they're of the same group they're the same category now when two adjectives are of a similar composition in that the way they're spoken or said or even spelled this AIO will change a little bit of this royal order of adjectives because it's easier to pronounce the words by using the I first, like the first syllable of the first word, and then the A, and then the O. Now, if you only have two, either one of these would follow the I. So, for example, big bad, like big bad wolf. We don't say the bad big wolf okay he's really big but the emphasis is on that he's bad and it sounds better a big bad wolf how about this one it's using all three of them bish bash bosh bish bash bosh it flows much easier when you say it that way okay some people like rick rack rick rack it's a silly sounding thing and then some people like to collect knickknacks knickknacks little collectible figurines and it sounds and it flows easier than knack nick it's like too much work on the ah sound knick knack knick knack okay how about this one let me put this out of the way so you can hear it because the emphasis is not on the first consonant sound it's gonna be on the last consonant sound that that i'm gonna say the second consonant sound knickerbockers knickerbockers well you got the i o happening because there's no a in this one but you got knicker bockers so that ker sound is the one that's making that emphasis and that vowel sound in the front knickerbockers it flows much easier than bocker knickers it's like too much work on bocker to be at the front knickerbockers knickerbockers and some people call those the type of pants that um button but just below the knee so knickerbockers so that would be another way that an adjective order would be different based on the sounding of the words it happens but not all the time